Hey everybody, this is Brian from pnbhomesteading.com and I wanted to give uh, week seven, I believe last week I said it was week seven, but in my video notes I noted that it was week six. So this is the week seven update for our tomato bag uh, comparisons for compost tea versus no compost tea. And uh, just generic growing in a bag tomato plants. So that way you guys can see that uh, even those without big, huge, you know, garden boxes like we got here can uh, can actually grow some healthy food in your backyard. It's the middle of the day right now. We just got finished moving our daughter to her new apartment. It's hot as heck out here. But uh, anyway, got my little buddy here, Gus. He's gonna help me with the update. So, uh, yeah, you hot, huh, buddy? All right, so that's the uh, that's the one with the compost tea that I've been giving it. And uh, it's over the top of the cage. It's up to about here. You can see it, it's got quite a bit of flower. There's a lot of fruit set here on the uh, some of these. We got quite a few tomatoes showing up back in there. You guys can see these here on the camera, but the ones in the back, it's kind of hard to see. But um, this one here, let's see, maybe fruit set. You guys can actually see. Uh, I don't see any. I mean, this one here looks probably closest to getting some fruit set. Maybe this one. But uh, there's no, no fruit set here on this one. And that's, that's pretty telling. Uh, you know, with the compost tea, this one is taller, and you know it does have fruit set. So that may be something that you know may want to put away in the the, uh, the vault for next year. So that way, when I'm doing this stuff, you know, I probably won't do a comparison bags, but I'll do both compost teas. So that way, I can have more fruit set in production on both these tomatoes. Because we've got, you know, let's see, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fruits on that one. And it's, uh, what is it? July 10th, 2017. So we're in our first week, you know, second week of July. So that's good. That's good. So that means we're going to have some good production off that tomato earlier than we will with this one. And then I'll move this one, this bag I'll move back over here. And this one back over here probably next week. I mean, I don't want to keep dragging these things back and forth. It's kind of a pain. But you can tell. I mean, we're, you know, it's it's 3.30 right now in the afternoon. And, uh, you know, we got full sun on both these. And we've still got at least two more hours of sun. And then this one here will get shaded by the peach tree behind me here. So uh, we seem to be, you know, getting equal sun. This one probably gets a little more sun because he gets the morning sun coming up through that gap there in the trees. And then this one here gets a little bit of that early sun, but then by the time it gets to him or her, <laughs> the, the big maple back overhead here, he, uh, he kind of blocks everything out. But the, uh, there's, and this is also the, uh, a little fig. This is the new branch that came out of this fig. It seems to be doing really well. I'm surprised. Sure hope I can keep this guy going in this pot before we, uh, we have to move to Texas and uh, take him with us. Because he's one of the trees that's going to go down there in our new property down there. He's going to be one of the first trees we plant. It's going to be this little fig. Can't wait to, to get that new homestead started down there with a real homestead with land. And we can start getting some animals and running those through. And you guys are going to be here to, uh, to watch all that happen. But the beans they seem to be climbing and going crazy. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's a couple little beans right there. There's some here. Look at that. Look at that. Bush beans, my butt. <laughs> These things are vining everywhere. Yeah. Anyway, that's kind of the update this week for the uh, the tomato bags. It's week seven. That's signing off from uh, this is Brian and Gus. Signing off from pnbhomesteading.com. All right, I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.